This week, me and my good buddy DK from college decided to get a tag around school and chase turkeys on public and private. Day one consisted of a close encounter having two toms gobbling down in the bottom of a creek and a jake coming in. The jake stuck around for about 45 minutes and beat up our decoys and we ended up trying to put a move on the toms and came up short. The rest of the day we ended up scouting with very minimal luck and deciding to come back and try the toms in day two but robbing the roost. In day two we ended up going down into the bottom with the turkeys and didn't hear a single gobble. For the rest of the day we scouted and found a bunch of birds on private land and decided maybe it was time we started knocking on doors. We knocked on a couple doors and ended up getting permission for three different fields from two farmers in hopes of day three maybe finding a bird. Well, we tried this morning, heard a bunch of gobbles in the roost, but it was 28 degrees and windier than heck. They all didn't come out in the field. We drove around, didn't see any birds in the field. So we're coming back and we're cooking pancakes. Try again tomorrow morning. What up? It is 4.30 in the morning. We just got back from Comerica about an hour and a half ago. But we got out of bed and we're heading to the turkey woods. We're very tired. Stopped and got some energy drinks. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they're gobbling. It's about 30 degrees, but there isn't any wind, so that's a difference from yesterday. Hopefully, uh, no wind, they want to come out into the field. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, first spot we set up this morning where we saw those two times and we hunted them yesterday. Absolute bust this morning. Didn't see the two times anywhere. Just saw nine jakes. Came to another spot we got permission to hunt, and there is three very nice toms um, strutting in the field we have permission to, and they're in a spot where we can kind of keep pine trees in between us and set up 200 yards from them. And uh, we'll put our decoys on our side of the pines and just try to call them over to us. But, um, yeah, they're in a good spot, so we'll see what happens here. Easy walking could work out hopefully it'll work out be nice but yeah we'll see Well, it's May 14th. It's about 5, 8, 5.15 right now. Me, Nash, and Cody are out here. 
We just got to Gage Town. We're parked on the corner, listening. There's three different spots they could roost. One of them's on our property, and then two are on neighboring properties. But basically, wherever these turkeys are roosted, we can get to them with permission in a field, a couple different spots, and then our deer hunting properties. So there's one big one and another time with him. And yesterday and the day before, they were hanging out out in the fields around 8 a.m. with no hens with them. So we're going to sit here and listen for a minute and see if we can hear him on the limb. And then we'll make a make a setup on him. So Nash has got a tag. We're trying to kill one for him on public land, which is right down the road. So if we can get it done for mine, then we can go chase his. That'd be cool. And then pancakes. Pancakes after the hunt. Turkeys quit gobbling at the first spot, and so we went for a drive and just seen one that is just off of <clears throat> public, so we're gonna go try and uh, set up on them, see if we can't call them over the property line. We'll see how it goes. So we just got off the public land, that didn't work out. Some guy kind of screwed us over. We came back to private and uh, we got one to fire up. So we're gonna go hunt her down. About 600 yards away, so we're gonna close the distance by about 400. See what happens. Um, where me and you shot that doe at. You know, if it gobbles over here. We'll get back in that corner along the woods edge.
didn't have any luck this morning. It's about seven o'clock. It's been raining for a couple hours now. We decided to come back out here to see if we can see them on the fields because it's raining. And there's uh, two times out in the field. We're pretty sure it's the same two we've been seeing the last couple days. Do not hit a deer. Um, we don't know if they're gonna work away from where we can hunt. They're on a spot we can hunt right now, but it's kind of, I mean, you can't get to them without spooking them. So we're just gonna hang tight, watch them. And uh, hopefully this rain stops so we can film, but maybe they come back and we can cut them off before they come to the roost, so.
How about that? <laughs> nice job. Dude, that was that was a stalk. <laughs> they were they had me pinned. He's a younger bird, but Holy smokes. <laughs> Let's go. How about that for a stock? Uh-huh. I didn't know where you guys were set up. Right? Oh man, I crawled 20 yards probably. You started crawling, I'm like, there's no way I'm trying to follow him because I do not want to mess this up. <laughs> we'll let him go. So uh figured after dinner we'd drive around because it was raining, we knew they'd be out in the fields. And um we came and checked out at the property and there was two toms at least, a few jakes and uh, a handful of hens making their way back into our swamp to roost. So me and Cody belly crawled through some grass and uh, set up in the corner where we thought they would come in and they end up coming in a little bit farther down. So I had to crawl down a little bit and I put like 40, 45 yard shot on this one, but he was definite Tom out of the group. I, I didn't want to shoot one that there's one that has a skinny beard and you couldn't really see it very well in the corn. So I didn't want to look for him and end up shooting Jake. So I pulled the trigger on this guy, but first day home turkey hunting. I've been at college hunting with my buddy Drew. He ended up killing a bird while I was taking a nap. So we didn't get that on film. We got some of his hunts on film, but not the kill. But um, third bird down for the group. Drew um, considered our group now, but um, Cody got one earlier, that's on film on the channel, but third one down, now we got a couple more to get. So season's not over yet, but pretty cool. Good hunt. Nash got to watch from the truck, helped us out, telling us where the birds were. So there he is, 2022 turkey season. Beautiful night to do it too. I jump because I have no idea how bad it was. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to end the video. <laughs>